I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The glory and majesty of God seen on Good Friday. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, if you love what we're doing during this um, quarantine, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. You awake there, buddy? My treat? Now, you can tell when he's asleep, he doesn't catch the treats, so we have to leave him alone. Shh, he's sleeping. We are in Holy Week, Holy Monday. The Gospel is John chapter 12. But I only want to take you to one single verse of John chapter 12, which is the last one of the reading. And when Jesus answered them, the Greeks that show up, the Greeks that show up and say, would that we see Jesus. Gentiles looking for him. But that's not even the glory of God. The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. The glory and majesty of God is not found in the Shekinah. It's not found in the, in the pillar of fire and smoke. It's not found in the burning bush that is, 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 is burning but not consumed. It's not found in you singing the best hymn that you love so much and that feeling that you have and you can just know the glory of God. The glory of God is not found in, I'm getting old and so I get emotional when I get old. <laughs> The glory of God is not found in the sky that I love, the universe, the cosmos that I love, Saturn, Jupiter, Venus. My friends have to listen to, if they're on the phone with me, I'm like, oh, look to your right, there's, there's Venus, there's Jupiter. Or if I'm uh, at a conference and I'm surrounded by people, oh, take a look at, the, or on the softball field, there's, there's Venus coming up. The, the glory and majesty of God isn't there. The glory and majesty of almighty God is found in the suffering and death of Jesus. That's the way God wants to be glorified. That's the way God is for you. If God wants you to know when he's at his best, he's at his best when he dies for you. We think he's at his best in heaven or at the transfiguration or someplace where he's shining like the sun, but he's at his best. He wants you to see him glorified when he's suffering and dying for your sins and the sins of the whole world. When he does that, when he dies for you, when he, when he gives himself for you, that's how he wants to be known. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. The hour has come. Whoever loves his life, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Whoever loves his life loses and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it to eternal life. When you look on Good Friday, when you see him hang there by faith, know, trust, believe that he did that for you. And that is how he wants you to know him. He doesn't want you to be scared of him. He doesn't, you should be. He doesn't want you to um, give or offer to him. He offers up his son. He gives the greatest gift. And you are nothing but givable to. And there's no greater nothing but givable to moment than Jesus dead on that cross. It's disgusting. It's shameful. It's gross. It's a horrible sight that no one wishes to see that all of us run from every day of our lives. But that Jesus, dead on the cross for us, is the only hope, the only salvation, the only... It's, he's the only Savior 
for sinners. Contemplate that. Celebrate that. Understand that God has become flesh and he's become flesh in order that you might be saved. I want you to meditate on one little hymn today. And that's hymn number 434 in LSB. Lamb of God, pure and holy. Pray it with me. Lamb of God, pure and holy, who on the cross did suffer, ever patient and lowly, thyself to scorn didst offer. All sins thou borest for us, else how had despair reigned over us. Have mercy on us, O Jesus, O Jesus. A blessed Holy Monday to you and to your families. Stay safe. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.